today's word of vitamin is on doing emotional U-turns. And I, I've got to admit, I posted a little story about a, a really memorable U-turn that my hubby helped me do. And then I kind of thought, I'm such a dick, I'm going to delete that. And then I, I posted it, then I sat there and thought, you know what, it's, you are a dick and that's okay because, you know, we all have turns of being angels and dickheads and sometimes we're a shining example, sometimes we're a bloody good warning. And uh, I did a U-turn on my post on U-turns and I thought, fuck it, you know, you are who you are and you're an idiot sometimes and this is a good story and it's, it's true and anyway. I just wanted to share on emotional U-turns because those people in our lives that have the ability, and I've, you know, I often uh, think of that scene, st scene in Steel Magnolias where, I mean, I know it's a film, but it's a beautiful demonstration of U-turns where Libby Dukakis and Sally Field and Shirley MacLaine, you know, they're all standing in a very somber place saying goodbye to Julia Roberts, the daughter, as she's being buried. And the women just kind of be who they are, give each other the shits and make each other laugh. And uh, it's a beautiful scene. And, and I think today's Word Vitamin provides an opportunity for you to reflect on who those people are, that when you're in the middle of being your worst self or your crankiest self or your bossiest self or your saddest self, those people in your life that can show you the lighter side can massage hope and bring a smile through like sunshine through the rain. Those people are so, so precious. However, what's also really important for our emotional fitness is the ability to do that U-turn for ourselves by ourselves. And that's why I sort of shared, you know, often for ourselves, it's our fear versus our love, our ego versus our truth. And, uh, and as I said this morning, you know, my ego kind of said, oh God, delete that one. You can think of something else that's, you know, you are an idiot and that's kind of a silly one. And then, I, then my heart said, no, well, we're here to share and just leave it, leave it, you know. Um, and there are other times when I'm going to just share this little one with you. I, uh, I think the first time I did a U-turn, I had ordered a very sensible beige bra from a lingerie shop. It had taken ages, but the girl had phoned me, said it was in, went to pick it up, and this gorgeous young thing was twittering around and, you know, not serving me. She was just dicking around, and I kind of had to get her attention. I was in a hurry. She served, she went to serve me. I said, I'm here to pick up my bra. She said it wasn't there, and I just got the shits with her. And she was kind of distracted, and I was in a hurry, and she'd inconvenience me, and I was a bitch. And I just kind of said, you know, well, I have been phoned and I was told it was in here. And, and I think at the end of the day, I was so cranky. She was so lighthearted and young and she just, I suppose it just, you know, I was annoyed at myself. Anyway, I was a bitch to her and this little thing kind of looked at me and stiffened up. She was only young and I stormed out of the shop like a cranky old bloody woman. Went up the escalator, I was at Interpoli shopping town and I got half up the escalator and I thought, you know what, that is not the best version of yourself. You were such a bitch then. I turned around, went back down and as I walked in the shop, I saw this girl bracing herself because here comes, you know, the witch again. And I made eye contact with her, touched her on the hand and said, I was just such a bitch then. I am so sorry. I could blame it on hormones, but I think I was just cranky. I'm really, really sorry I treated you that way. She teared up and she just said, oh, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I know I, I, I'm so sorry. You know, And I'll call you again and, and I'm, it's probably my mistake. And she was just so gracious. Anyway. Emotional U-turns, you know, it's never too late to turn around and be the best version of ourselves. And I just wanted to share that one with you today. So I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you get cranky or someone with you is cranky, um, not to dismiss or diminish their emotions, but to try and remind them of the lighthearted things and try and help them have a laugh. It's just such a lovely gift. Anyway, mwah, lots of love. See ya.